Hi, I am Sina Nerasina. Welcome back to this Gaia One Complete. The grasp of the demon. We're on episode 6 right now, so let's just watch the scene. Hm. She probably used her feminine charm. Okay, that's pretty sexist. I just want to point that out, but please remember that this is the bad guy and this is a game from like 2004 or something. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? Also, uh, if by this point you haven't realized that Vulcanus is actually a bad guy, I mean, just look at him. I mean, I know I just said the last, the last episode we weren't supposed to judge people by their appearances, but if you look at, at him, he's an angel, but even then, just look at his face. I mean, this is a cliche, but you know, that's a bad guy face. That's it. That has to be it. There's no other explanation. I won't allow it. My plan shall not be interfered with. Still, this demon den is so filthy, it reeks of evil. Mm -hmm. What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? So yeah, uh, Volcanoes is not only sexist, but he's also racist towards demons, and also humans, but that's for later. What kind of book is this? My god! This page! This page! All these pages! <laughs> Do you know what kind of book is that? I don't really know what was that. I, I I'm so glad just there that there that wasn't voiced. I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. You have to wonder like what kind of Fun. Where are you? Of society will let like someone like him be an archangel. There's only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. <laughs> Flan, I'm taking your pendant. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. <laughs> Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. No, 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 no. <laughs> A pendant? Yes. It was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No. If it were you, you would steal it impartially, right? Hmm. S so you do get it. <laughs> then what do you want me to do? I want you to help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? What's wrong, Juan? You look tired. Y yes. The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the Netherworld very long without that pendant. Yeah, so Volcano doesn't need it. He just stole it because he's an ass. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. Indeed. What you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? Poor Flan. Laharl, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something good, you say? Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Oh, now she's, she's just playing like the, you know, uh, injured card. Give it up already. I'm a demon. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you were old, maimed, or diseased. <laughs> Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? 
uh, that sounds, you know, a little, you know. Tell me. Are you trying to provoke me? Probably. <laughs> Fine. I've got some time oh. to kill. <laughs> he fell for it. this for your sake and when i find the pendant that something good is mine thank you Laharo. you're an angel you shouldn't be thanking demons <laughs> i do what i want what i want oh sorry uh, it's because i was you know i pressed the button by accident okay i'll, I'll be right back in a second just give me a second all right i'm back i was just you know talking to a friend okay so I started this episode right away from the other one. If you know what happened to the other one, you should know that I'm still pissed. <laughs> oh, Hogmeister, so he joined us. Oh, so he has the same things he had equipped, but he actually, I, the, we got a better reroll and the bad parasol is not rare. So that's great. I wonder if I have something better from he, for him. Let's see. Oh yeah, the cat's claw. Okay, I'm just gonna give him the cat's claw, this power belt. I mean, it's too bad it reduces defense, uh, but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. I could give him mo mo the muscle hustle. I think that's the only thing I have. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be using Hogmeister. You receive, you know, more monster allies as you play the game. And monsters are not really that good because they're not as versatile as human units, at least in the first game. Us monster type demons can only equip monster all weapons. Isn't that just unfair? Yeah, as I was saying. Are you utilizing th utilizing team attacks? I am, actually. Thank you for reminding me. I overheard the prince talking about this a second cycle. What does that mean? Oh yeah, I think this is important for the next episode. By the way, uh, I lowered the the noise gate uh, thing from the from the microphone on OBS because the microphone was picking a lot of noise and I don't know why I, I already have it set to the way I like it, but it seems it was picking more noise, so I had to you know make changes. Not that you mention it, I did see a suspicious map prowling around last night. And what did you do? Watching quietly from a distance, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I love these demons. That's why I always tag them at the start of each episode. When braving sen senators, I think it's senators, it's best to bribe the highest level senator possible. The higher the level, the more influence they have. So, basically money is power, huh? So yeah, that's completely correct. And this pretty just speaks about the breeze. Let's see the next... You know, the next episode of the, yeah, the portrait. So you, you remember last episode, the heart gave Edna King Kruchevsko's portrait. I saw a portrait of the king in Hotmeister's palace. My heart aches when I look at his majesty's face. Do my memories have something to do with the king? I'll find out soon enough. Just a little longer until I get my memories back. So yeah. The plot thickens. Okay, uh, let's see if I need to, you know... Oh, yeah, I need to heal because Hogmeister had that thing going. Maybe I can buy, you know, uh, an armor for Hogmeister, like another Bushido one. Mm, I don't like these ones. No, not one bit. I'm going to reroll. I want one for Hogmeister, come on, give me something good. This is like the best one. Well, no, it just give, it's giving me a speed. Oh, it's one, this one gives me attack because it has... Oh no, it doesn't have like anything that gives me attack, though. Yeah, okay, I, I want like some, some, like an armor that has a gladiator. None of these have gladiators, at least this has be better defense. I could go for this one. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess I'll pick this one since, you know, it has better defense. But I won't buy anything else for, you know, reasons. So yeah, I lose some intelligence, but who cares about intelligence? Just look at all the defense and attack I get. That's almost as, as much as Laharl. So he's going to make, you know, a good mid shield. I could change the power belt. I mean... This one gives me more defense. Maybe I can just try to buy another Bushido armor. I'm gonna sell this too. No, wait, I have a better idea. I'm gonna give, like... It increases a little intelligence. Maybe one of my mages can use it. Yeah, because you have the amulet. Yeah, this is way better. And it increases intelligence by a little, so... There you go. But still, I have to sell stuff. You know, I want to buy a better staff. Sell. And I'm gonna put this gun. And then we go back here. Organize everything. I can sell this gun. The witch is I'm not going to be needing it. This either. Now, I could sell the pixie bow. I think I have... No, I don't have enough money. Oh yeah, the bad parasol is the thing I, I took away from him because I had a better item already. Yeah, sure, I can sell the bad parasol, I'm not going to be needing it. Uh, now, each time you visit an item world, you get, you know, an extra Mr. Genji's exit. I could, uh, like, sell two of these since I be going, I'm not going to be needing them. And Choking Rust 2, not needing it. And that's it, that's all the items I have. I mean, I could sell the pixie bow. Let's see what I have here, just, you know, candies and stuff for stealing. Okay, I'm gonna sell the pixie bow, I can buy, you know, better items. I bet they sell the pixie bow in here for like 2,000 or something. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I made a good show, a, a good decision, I took a good decision there. Uh, let's see, I want a better staff. Okay, sword staff, that's like the better, the best one I can get. Mm, yeah, I guess I can buy this one, it gives me a little attack. Ooh, also, yeah, since these are very, you know, expensive items, my my customer rank goes up through the roof. Now, yeah, Flon already has the yeah, Azor staff. Ooh, this one gives her a little more intelligence, but reduces her SP. Nah, I'm good like that. I want to give it to you, yeah, to give you more intelligence. And yeah, I'm not going to be needing the smiting rods. Yeah, I think uh, I'm doing good. Okay. Just, you know, recover some HP. And we can finally go to the dimension gate. We have a serious matter. What's wrong? Someone opened a gate to the blazing core without me knowing. Who could have done this? Maybe he knows where the pen that pendant is. All right, I shall find him and make him confess everything. So yeah, let's go to the Blazing Core. Road of Flames. Also, I think I didn't explain this because, uh, you know, <laughs> what happened last episode. I already explained it, but you didn't hear it, hear it. So this has a bonus rank. Bonus rank just tells you, like, how many... How many, like ranks you can get from an item in there for uh, in this case i can only get a maximum of rank 7 item from the bonuses i don't know if the enemies have like i think they do they can only have like a max a max of rank 7 items i think so correct me if i'm wrong there's a total of i remember if there were 40 or 41 items in rank ranks of items i mean so yeah, those are like the best ones you can get. Uh, I'll check it in the on the wiki later and you know uh, make a, an amendment to this if I'm yeah, I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> talking is hard. 
It's hot here. What's with this place? This is too much for me. I'm out of here. Wait, look at this. A feather? Let me see. What's so special about it? This is an angel feather. It's not yours, isn't it? No, its size and the aura it radiates, they are both superior to mine. The feather uh, belongs to a high level angel. Huh, no wonder this place reeks of goodness. But I came to the netherworld under the Seraph's secret orders. Why would another angel be here? Prince, you think that the angel stole a phone's pendant? Huh, I'm surprised that a love freak like you would have an enemy. It's not possible, an angel would never steal my pendant. But only angels know about the pendant, right? Well... Ah, forget it, we still have to find it regardless. I don't care what kind of trouble those Celestians steer up for themselves. So Flon didn't mention something about the pendant that makes it impossible for a demon to have stolen it. So yeah. It's going to come up later, so that's why I'm not mentioning mentioning it. Ooh, this has experience by a hundred, so I can make some good experience in here. And all of them are weak to ice. This is great. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought that stuff. I wasn't like even ready for this. It just happened like to be like this. So here I go. I hope this kills them. Yeah. Oh well. Three. Three out of four. Oh wow. She she went up. She went up two levels. That's great. Maybe I can kill this one with wind? Maybe? Ah, oh, come on! Well, at least I can kill him with the... Uh, where is it? Freya? Oh, I, I didn't check if they had like good items. I don't think so. Yeah, no, just, you know, the same trash. Okay, I'm going to, you know, take out Hawkmeister. Oh, wow, I just realized he needs shoes, you know, to be able to move more. He's really slow. The heart, of course. And Edna. So, uh, what I'm going to do this episode, I don't think I will be able to finish it, like finish on uh, to get to the boss of this this uh, particular episode in game episode four is going to be two parts that will also give me you know the advantage of being able to grind off screen a little oh well okay so this, this is a good like place to stand up and yeah maybe i can kill them but i will need some help I can use Lahar, he will just like, you know, he will be overkill. I can put I can place Hulkmeister in the middle. Like this. And if that doesn't kill them, I can use, you know, Mega Eyes. Also I don't wanna kill Hulkmeister, so I will have to, you know, lift him with Lahar. Okay, that's that's great. That's perfect. I can actually level up a little in here. Eh, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna have to move that much. I'm gonna use this mega eyes. Move like one, two. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, mega eyes would have killed them without doing anything, but I didn't get like you know experience. And finally, I can just kill this guy with the heart. Yeah, I'm not gonna even have any issues. Here I come. come on, just counter it. Yeah. Oh, wow, he survived. Well, uh, that gives me another idea. What I'm going to do now... Uh, which has... Who has the better throw? I think they have the same throw, but you move a little more, so... I'm gonna place you here and place you here. I'm gonna lift you, lift you again. Yeah, I want that experience for Freya, so what I'm going to do, you know, is 
Yeah, just throw the brawler here. Lift the armor and throw it here. And then Freya can kill it. Okay, just one more space. Oh, I cannot move one more space. That's okay, I can just shoot. Oh, he's also paralyzed. Ooh, excellent. That's great, now we have to, you know, recover HP. Okay, just made, you know, a little intermission for me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, everyone seems to be in a good level. Except Saria, I think I'm going to, you, uh, to, you know, level grind her a little. Oh, also I want to check the Dark Assembly for something. Okay, so Lahar has 300, Edna has... Yeah, Flon still needs, like... Yeah, because what I want to do... You can unlock something, uh, more mages in here. There is something called a Star Mage. Now, a Star is another element. In this game, it's neutral. In the other games, you know, it's another type of element. That has weaknesses and strengths. But in this game, a Star is, like, the best element you can get. So I think if I level the uh, three of these to level 10 or something, I can unlock a star mage. So I want to, you know, make one for Flon. But I don't want it to be incompetent. I want it to be a, at least average or skill. So I'm going to have to train Flon a lot. To get mana, you have to kill enemies. But Flon doesn't level up like that. What she does is, you know, heal people. That's how she levels up. Freya has some mana because, you know, I've been using her and, and Katrina too. Been using them to... Actually, Katrina gives me a, a good idea. I want to create, you know, a fire mage. I can just make it Katrina's apprentice. Yeah, I can make it skill. Distinguish, no, it's, it's pretty hard at this point in the game because you need approval from the assembly and that's a little hard. Genius is the same thing. So yeah, I could make like uh, an apprentice to Katrina and make her learn fire spells too, but Katrina is not like the best. Oh, so I unlocked like a higher tier of Thief. This is Rock and this is Thief. So, fun fact, in the original Disgaea, the tips were male, they look like more, more like this guy, but with a bandana on. So, these are the, the sprites, or the models from the second game, forward. So yeah, the, the other one was outdated, so they just replaced him. I mean, I would have preferred if you had, you know, the two options, male and female. I don't mind, I don't mind, like, being fe male and female units. I think that's cool. I mean, they, w they weren't any female brawlers and they included them in this game. These were, these were like that since the beginning and these, one, these two... Oh yeah, there weren't any f male clerics either, so they included them. So I don't know why they just removed the, the thief like that. Uh, the scout can control geo panels, but it has some restrictions, so it's not really good. He has better stats than the thief, but of course cannot steal, so I prefer the thief. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing a new character now. I may do it off-screen, I wanna do another mage, you know, I need more spells on my arsenal. But let's go, enough chit-chat. Uh, I wanna go home. Why is it so hot? Now I'm all sweaty. Prince, in this heat, Flan's gonna shrivel up before we find the pendant. <laughs> That's kind of true. Huh? I'm fine. Ah, uh, poor girl. How come? Well, I'm gonna kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> mm, no, the medicine that a printy gave me seems to be helping. Huh? One of them gave you medicine? <laughs> Prinnies aren't that nice. You must be hallucinating. <laughs> no, it's true. I feel much better now. So can you guess which Prinny gave her the medicine? You've seen it before. Okay, which one of them was it then? Um... 
<laughs> I just like how she looks at them, like, uh, which one was they all it? all look the same. Indeed. But, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. The heat must be getting to you after all. I'm telling the truth. So yeah, in this case, there is also the fact that despite having skimpier clothes, uh, you can infer that Edna is kind of wearing leather. And in this kit, yeah, that's not good. Uh, on the other hand, Flon looks like to be wearing like some very comfy like cotton clothes. So you know, cotton is best for the desert. Since it's it breathes. You could go shirtless, but you could also like jump into a fire pit like this one. You will get all, all burned out. That's why you need clothes. They protect you from the sun. Okay, let's see. This one has items. The other ones, nah, they don't have any. They are level 9. This one has items too. Okay, so the levels are ramping up. So if I make a polite guess, I'm guessing the boss on this area, I mean the, the whole blazing core, is like level 15 or so. So I should be able to still take him on with my Lahar. Maybe. But anyways. Okay, I can ice this tree. Actually, oh wow, everyone is weak to ice, I think, because this is the blazing core. So remember the other uh, scenario where everything was frozen, so everyone was like resistant to ice. Okay, so I have an idea. I'm just gonna leave Lahar here so they can all gang up with me. And since they are using special attacks, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, counter. And now I can kill them with my mage. Oh, come on, you have to be kidding me. Alright, well, I don't, I just need uh, my thief. Also, I should be stealing more, you know, like stats with my thief yeah intelligence i don't need intelligence but it's a good thing yeah i have to remember that wait i don't i want to use my special but you know i uh give me a moment oh i just realized this special rapid fire is fire elemental and this one is ice maybe that's why they weren't working uh let's try it with this one this should like hit for a lot then Oh yeah, there we go. So I was being an idiot. I apologize for that. You are free to yell at me in the comments or something. <sighs> now, of course, I don't want her to get hit, so I'm gonna be using a heart to lift her. And and uh, a good thing about lifting allies is that they don't hurt you for having you know having lift them, having having them live like this. So yeah, this is a way you can protect your allies by having more powerful allies, just, you know, hold them. Although Edna is getting hurt. Okay, I'm gonna throw you here. You have Aero Resistance and you have 38. You're going to die from the... Okay, I have an idea. Let's see. What I want to do is... Let's see my Mega Eyes. Okay, yeah, I, I think I know what I want to do. I want to throw you... Like, I want to move Lahar here. I want to take this guy. No, but I don't want to use, you know... Yeah, uh, like this. Uh, yeah, I, I can use Jessica. Like this. And then we can use a Mega Ice Block. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's great. Good work, Katrina. Good work. And that way I can finish this off with... Like this. There we go. And finally, I can use Fawn to go here and heal, you know, my allies. 
and finish my turn. And now I'm healing for way more because, you know, I have more intelligence. Like, you see, they are not dumb. They usually go, you know, for the kill. You have 84, like, resistance. So what I'm going to do is attack you first with... Uh, here, and then... Mega Eyes. Oh, come on! I want to do the Mega Eyes. Okay, I'm gonna place you here. And place you here, you know, so I can heal you more. And finish my turn. If they don't get closer, I'm gonna, you know, try to attract them. Oh, great! So yeah, that, that way Flon levels up. But she doesn't get any mana, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Okay, I'm gonna use you as bait. So you just shoot me. What's your range? Wow, that's a pretty good range you have there. So I'm gonna place you... Like in here. Uh, nah, here it's okay. I mean, we're going to die anyway, so... I mean, you're going to die anyway, so that doesn't matter. The mage can go here, Edna can go here. Uh, the heart can be right up front just in case. And Flon, it's okay to go here. Oh, yeah. Never left anyone, you know, facing the wrong way. Can be dangerous for you. Okay, we managed to attract one. And he doesn't have the best resistance, so I may be able to kill it with Mega Eyes. Maybe. Oh, I learned Braveheart. This was increase increasing my attack, so it's pretty good. And in case that doesn't kill you... Oh, come on! Just die already. And finally, I'm gonna move the hard one more so I can kill, you know, the injured warrior. There we go. You are both weak to ice, 82 resistance. Oh, wow, 112. They are getting more powerful. Okay, no, I have another idea. A different idea. I think this one can take a shot to the head. And... Okay, I'm gonna move Lahar. No, I better throw Lahar up there. I mean, yeah, this is better. I can put you here, attack you, and then I can use eyes to kill you both. Like this. Hopefully it kills them. Nope. Okay, I kill one at least. Okay, let's kill the other one with Edna. I'm gonna try like pretty rate for the end time. So far it hasn't been the best attack, but you know. You have you have to have some faith. It will eventually be good, I hope, at least. Die. There we go. Although the damage is still pretty low. Maybe I just need to give Edna a better weapon. Okay, that's one. We just have one more remaining. Okay, he survives. I can... Oh yeah, because I'm not going to counter, yeah. So I can just throw him. Uh, you will be okay here. There you go. He doesn't have the best resistance, so I should be able to kill him. Oh, but I cannot use Mega Eyes. Let me see if I can have something to recover, you know. Oh, but that, I'm not going to be using this right now. That's not a good idea. I'm just going to use regular eyes and hopefully that will kill him. There we go. That was that went better than I expected. 
And we're already half an hour in. Ooh, a new prize. Ooh, a star orb. That's great. So let's look for a rare star orb. Okay, uh, you know what I'm going to do, so we're back. Okay, I'm back. I think this one is a pretty good one. I mean, it has two physicians and two managers. I think the physicians are the ones giving me the ex extra resistance, so I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna give it to Fawn. I mean, I think it's going to reduce, you know, her... Yeah, her intelligence a little, but at least it gives her more defense and more SP, and I can give the blood orb to... You, you actually don't have anything. Or can I, can I give it to you? No, actually it just reduces your... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I think this is going to be alright. I should really buy buy her like a new, a new stuff. Do I have the money? Not enough. I need to recover some, some uh, SP. Okay, I think I'm ready for the next level. Let's go. Oh wait, before I forget, I, I better save. Yeah, because if I don't, you know, accidents happen. And this time I'm checking like regularly, pretty regularly my recordings. I don't know why some scenes like are voiced and some are aren't. I don't know if this is different, you know, in the Japanese version. It usually is, I mean, it's just that the localizations don't have enough money, you know, to cover everything, so they just cherry-pick scenes to dub. Anyways. Hey, for future references, what kind of guy is this Seraph? Future reference? Yeah, I may end up fighting him one day. I'm looking for your pen, at least you could... The least you could do is tell me. Well, I guess it's okay. No, it's not. Well, Master Lamington, the Seraph, is a very kind person. He loves flowers and poems. Now, wait a second, I only want to hear about his weak points. Huh, so you look up to the Seraph. Yes, of course. Is there someone that you look up to? Me? The late king? What? You don't look up to me? <laughs> He's all so insulted. Nope. Why you? You called yourself a vassal? Yeah, sorta. Someone should teach you some. some te should teach you some manners. Enough of this. Let's find that pen. <laughs> Ooh. So yeah, all of these are just lined up, but with the enemy boost, so it's going to be a little, little bit hard. Oh, this one is called Qwerty, really? I guess they were running out of names at this point. Oh wow, this is one is level 14, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe like the boss of this area will be like level 18 or something. Okay, so what I can do is throw this here and just wait, you know, five turns and they will all die. But I have to destroy this one first. So I guess I'll send the heart. Yeah, I think I can send the heart to this area to destroy this geo panel and then someone else here to throw this one here. And hopefully they will all die. I mean, I can do it, you know, the old fashioned way. And just like fight my way through them. But, you know, there is a lot of them and this, uh, this is obviously the way the game wants you to do stuff. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is better. Okay, I can place, yeah, place someone here. Yeah, I, I think I have an idea of what I want to do. So yeah, my thief is like the one that can throw the, the farthest, so I'm gonna place her here. Now, I was going to send La hard, but now I realize it's not going to be a good idea. I need to send someone who was going to die, so... Yeah, you have movement 7, so... Wait, can you destroy this thing? How much HP? 106. Maybe I should send the Ice Mage. Oh, decisions, decisions. I don't know if, if 
if she's going to be able to, you know, pull that off. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. I can use the thief, throw it here or here. I mean, I, I mean, throw the thief here so she can throw this here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I just need someone who can throw five spaces. Can you throw five spaces? No. No, 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 no. Okay, Edna is going to be our sacrifice this time. <laughs> but I'm not going to move Edna. I need to, you know, be smart about this. Yeah, that, I, I have an idea. Instead of destroying it, I can just, you know... Yeah, this, this is way better than I was planning to do. And then I can throw this here, but not now. First, I need to throw this one back. For that, I'm going to need Lahar. Or I could also leave... Oh, wait. I was, you know, I was gonna block the way with Lahar, but now I realize that this can move around here. Alright, so I'm gonna use someone else. I need a pretty good sacrifice. Wait, you have better defense, don't you? 81, yeah, no, I'm not gonna use you as a sacrifice. Like this. And you can block the way in here. And then I can just choose the brawler. One, two, three, four, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, that was my bad. I wasn't planning on doing that, but you know. Things went awry. But at least I can throw this back. There we go, now damage plus 20. And I can just leave the heart in here and, you know, pick enemies at my leisure. I'm gonna use Wing Cutter just to, you know, cut on some enemies. There we go. Turn and do. Yeah, of course they're going to, you know, try to pick the other, the others. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's nice that she lost like 20% of her HP. So yeah, now everyone is getting damaged, so we have to wait. Now we just play the waiting game. Well, in this case, I can just Mega Ice this too. Like this. I can leave... No, not you. Yeah, the Giopano to put it here, so I can move beside her. There we go. And finally, I can escape here when the heart can pick me. And place me here. There we go. Now everyone is going to die. We just have to wait some turns. That's okay if they kill me. I don't mind. Now we just have to wait. I don't think that's... All right, let's, let's see. All right, he might try to attack Lahar. But he will die, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can at least kill him with magic. Just die already, please. Okay, now we play the waiting game. I think they just have one turn left. Two turns left. There we go. No problems at all. Oh, another prize? It must be a muscle. Oh no, this is a recovery item. Okay, that's okay, I don't mind. I like... Oh, that was a rare one, I... Yeah, I blame my slow reflexes. There we go. You know, you just want a rare one so you, you can heal a little more. That gives you an advantage. I mean, I was in the item world and one of those items I got from the hospital actually saved me.
Okay, let's go to the labyrinth. Molten labyrinth, here we go. Oh, so maybe this is the boss battle. Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. What? The pendants shining. <laughs> so yeah, that's the point where volcanoes like just cross the the event, uh, the event horizon, the moral event horizon. I have no use for this anymore. Oh! <laughs> oh, I totally oh, forgot about buyers. I mean, meat boss. Who threw this? That was dangerous. Hmm? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant. So, please pay attention to the fact that Volcanoes was burned by the pendant and yet Meat Boss isn't. It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior. This will be very, very important way later on. I thank you, oh god. Moron, what demon thanks a god? <laughs> huh? Who just called Moira a moron? Me. Oh, what a lucky day indeed. To be able to confront my rival once again. Wait a second. Since when did I become your rival? Good question. Hey, it's Mid Boss. You're still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Also, Flon's sprite just went up a little, I think, that because she went up a slope or something. Mm -hmm. A lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Midboss, may I have the pendant? It's mine. <laughs> With all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. At least he called you Mister. I need it. I beg of you. I, I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. <laughs> Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Indeed. Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart! And there it is! If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes, he should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> so yeah, as you might have guessed, Vulcanus has like a really wicked heart. That's why he was burning him. Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take uh, a screenshot just to put it on my Discord. There we go. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Enough! I told you, you're mid-boss! Oh. <laughs> Say what you wish, but do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid-boss. Hey! You just admitted that you're a mid-boss! <laughs> Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name Mid-Boss again! Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! So yeah, let's see what, what the Dark Adonis has in store. Like, uh, I never realized until I was playing the Disgaea Gacha game that Meat Boss is actually classified as a monster. He's a humanoid, but he's still classified as a monster. Oh, he's level 17, so he's pretty close to me. And uh, his stats are actually not that far away from mine, except for the HP. Interesting. Can I steal something from him? Uh, maybe the Power Jacket is worth stealing, but I'm a lower level, so I don't know if I would be able... Hmm, 
this is going to be a little hard. At least they give me a, a good distance to prepare. And all of these are weak to ice, so... You know the drill. Hmm. Let's see how much like resistance have they have. 42. Okay, I can kill these two with the ice mage. That's easy. Easy peasy. The only question is will I be able to reach them? Yes! Okay. Let's start. Come on, really? Really? Okay, uh, he cannot be. I, I think I don't think I'm gonna be aggroing him. And this one's either. Okay, now time to get out to get the heart out. You're going to be taking the other side. Well, I wanna throw him over there since you know it, that's better. Oh, I totally forgot about Hawkmeister. I should be using him more too. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach that, so I'm gonna be needing two of my units. So, there we go. No, wait. No, not the Prini. Much better. Now for the Harl. Yeah, I'm not gonna be, you know, doing the, what I was doing with the others, trying to train my uh, units. I'm just going to go straight to the point. I don't think they will be able to kill a Harl. So I'm just gonna, you know, risk it a little. But in any case, I should be sending Front 2 and Etna. Oh, Front has a lot of movement. Oh yeah, because she has the shoes and I forgot to give Hope Miser some shoes. I can leave him here, you know, to support me. What I can do for him is, you know, throw him over there so he fights the monsters. Yeah! Like this. And my mage is going to stay here, and the prunes don't matter. Here I come. Okay, that's great, only five enemies left. I'm at a number num numerical advantage right now. For now at least, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, if I had the thief, I could just throw, like, someone over there. Maybe I'll try that next turn. I'll, I'll try to throw Flon, you know, so they can recover from the injuries. Yeah, they, they don't receive too much damage, so... I don't worry. Nah, a regular attack is okay. Oh, wow, this one has a lot of HP. And a good resistance to boot, so... I should be careful with this one. Okay, maybe I want to lift you and throw you. Okay, let's first attack. I don't know how that guy survived. Okay, let's see if I can throw her to the other side of the bridge. Yes, I can. Okay, do I want to throw someone else or do I want to throw Flon? No, I think Flon is okay. Maybe she can kill this guy. He only has seven. And I haven't learned like any other attack. I'll try to kill this one, but it's going to be a little difficult. I need the help of this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use a triple strike. Oh, come on! Yeah, and of course he's going to counter me. Well, Flon is basically dead, so I'm gonna have to make do without the healer. There we go. That's what I wanted. So at least we managed to do that one. 
Okay, I'm gonna. I, I don't wanna aggro these ones. They have for movement. No, they actually have pretty good movement. Oh, th these are mages, like monster mages, I, if I remember. Yeah, let's just look at the intelligence. So. And Lahar has already attacked. Yeah, I'd rather not aggro them. I'm just gonna finish that monster with Edna. Yeah, that's what I should have done in the first place. There you go. Oh, good. Okay, so all the monsters on this side of the field are dead. Yeah, it's time for these ones to come at me. Okay, I'm okay with that. Besides, they are weak to ice. They have a lot of resistance, though. Yeah, no, I, I am better attacking them like this. Okay, spin a slash. I'm just going to move the mage like here. And just mega ice. And finally, a triple strike. As for you, no, I don't want to use Shuriken Slash, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, regular attacks should be okay. As for fun, I'm just going to use an item to recover. Yeah, this one is okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm not going to be needing the triple strike. Yeah. Okay, I cannot kill this one without, you know, some assistance, so... Trick. There we go. Okay, so now the only one left is mid-boss, but you know, I fear he's going to kill my mage, so I better leave here. And he's weak to eye, so I can exploit that at least. Yeah, see? Went right for the mage. Okay, time to, you know, do some crazy, crazy combos. I was going to use her to throw a heart, but I better just use Etna. Yeah, like this. Just Hurricane Slash. Uh, yeah. Like this. I'm going to move you out of the way, but first I need, you know... Someone to leave my teeth. I'm gonna move Edna out of the way. I think one should be enough to throw her yeah, to the other side. Okay, now I need to move the mage. I think she's going to be okay in here. Just eyes and finally just wait. I can use three bursts, it's an ice elemental attack, so. I should be good. Oh, but the Adonis is going to... Ah, that's okay. I just need additional damage. I wanted, you know, to surround him, but I ran out of units to do that. Yeah. Once you, you start exploiting weaknesses, it's much better. <laughs> He's almost dead, so... I'm gonna bait him with this one. There we go. Turn and... Uh... Yeah, that worked. Okay, so I'm trying to... I'm going to try to steal from him. I'm just checking if one of my plunder hands has a little more hit than the other ones, but doesn't seem to be... The oh, this one. Okay, I can steal. Yeah, stop from him. Hard. Ooh, hit, yeah. Okay, I want to steal the hit from him, so what I'm going to do, you know, you already know the drill. This is better than, you know, having to... I wonder if the if the hit is really help, helping me. Let's see. Yeah, it's helping me a little. There we go. Now I have a extra hit. That's great. Now I can try to kill him. I want my mage to kill him, you know, to so she can level up, so let's try it. I don't need, like, the rare jacket or anything. Power jacket, I mean, that's a, a like, mid-tier, mid-tier, uh, 
tier, mid tier uh, equipment for what I can buy right now. So, yeah, it's not very good. Okay, he's so dead now. Excellent. <laughs> I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle. So every time I, I beat him up, like he ends up like wars. But let me tell you this. My name is the Dark. Adonis. Oh poor guy, I, I kinda feel bad for him. Oh, also, uh, a, a quick detail, please look at Lahar's back sprite, do you notice that under his red scar he has like a, a, a little, a small like, it looks like a, a, a red uh, like stain, but it's actually like his wings, he has a tattoo of his wings on the back, they can grow from there, or from the, the scarf actually, the scarf can turn into wings, I don't remember like if, if yeah, I think the scarf is like part of him. And <laughs> the prinis. They are just, you know, wasting time. Don't make such a pitiful face. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Isn't this what you're looking for? Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Yeah. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. Now, uh, at this point, you know, I just realized that the heart maybe just be pretending to be evil. Maybe the pendant wasn't really hurting him. He just, you know, since he knew the pendant could like hurt the wicked, he's just pretending to be. That's good to know. Maybe, I mean, why? that's just one of my theories. Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from me. <laughs> of course, Lahar, of course. <laughs> what, what's so funny? Thank you, Laharl. She, uh, it's a really cute scene. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Uh, do I have to spell it out? <laughs> the reward! Give me the something good you promised me! Oh, that! I already gave it to you! What? Put your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? Warmth inside your heart? It's a it's a really beautiful and touching scene, I'm sorry. You faced great danger to find this pendant. Uh, the later these Gaia games don't have like this this feeling of, you know, this fussy feeling you get from scenes. I guess it's because the, the next installment are a little more over the top. They have cheery scenes, but not like this. You pretend to be only evil. At least There's in my opinion. definitely kindness in your heart. Yeah. So yeah, it's just my opinion. Just clarifying that. To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness, that is my reward for you. Uh, uh, are you insane? How can you say something so crazy? <laughs> kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! <laughs> Damn it! I'll remember this! <laughs> Deceiving the prince, huh? Not bad at all. Really? You look happy. Yes, I am. I now know that there is love within Laharl's heart. And that is a beautiful thing. And if there is love inside him, that means there is love in all demons. One day, angels and demons could be friends. I couldn't be happier. Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. Indeed. But 
You're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. She's not wrong. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Indeed. Hmm. Are you like that, Edna? Maybe. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so yeah, Edna is not as easy to, to you know, get a reaction from like Lahar. She plays more coy. Damn that flan! She managed to survive. Hmm. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. Right, Vulcanus, right. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Oh, consider yourself lucky this time. But I, Vulcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end. So yeah, if you ever seen like a middle-aged dude like plotting in the middle of nowhere, just talking to himself, yeah, he's evil. No doubt about it. <laughs> Got that? Don't forget it. Even if I don't make an appearance for a while. <laughs> okay, that's just putting a lampshade um, a lampshade on it. So yeah, he's not. Me? Yeah, yeah, sure, I promise you. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna not going to be in the story for a while. That's what he meant. Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. End. Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Peaches! <laughs> in their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians. Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the Dark Durian Nine. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, a mysterious pinch hitter appears, awakening the Peaches' true baseball spirit. Like, why they didn't fix the images? They could have done that. You shouldn't play with fire. Huh? Is this not baseball? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm already pretty tired. It's pretty late and I haven't even had dinner. <laughs> so yeah, I was getting hungry anyways. But yeah, enjoy the video. Please leave a like. Have something to say? Comment down below. One more? Please subscribe. Is this video ending? You can bet it is. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.